asking, guys, is I'm saying, all right, I want you to figure out what is u minus v. Well, very simply, we know that u minus v from my algebra is just going to be 4 minus 2, comma, 3 minus 8. which that equals 2, negative 5. Okay. In reality, guys, that's really mostly what you need to be concerned about. Now, we should be able to figure out what this is going to look graphically, but if you guys understand this, you're mostly there. Okay. It just depends. I mean, some of those problems, they say graph it, so that's why I'm going, I'm going through it. So let's take a look, then, of what this is going to look like u minus v. u is at 4, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. That is vector u. v is at 2, 8. 1, 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So it's asking us to subtract u minus v. And I told you guys, I don't want to subtract them. I want to add negative v. You know that's the same thing, right? Does everybody agree with me? That's the exact same thing. u minus v is the same thing as u plus a negative v. But now we need to understand what is negative v. If this is what v is, what's the negative? Well, remember, that's going back to the scalar, right? So if we say v is equal to uh, 2 comma 8, what is negative v? Well, that becomes the scalar, which equals negative 2, negative 2. OK? So now I go over negative 2, down 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you guys can see it's pretty much a direct reflection, right? So. So now, that is what we call negative v. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're adding, right? So what did we do with addition? It's very important for you to understand the addition. What do you do when you're adding two vectors? It doesn't matter if my one's negative. What do you do when you add two vectors? Change the initial point, right? Right, so now, so we're not worried about v anymore, right? We're adding negative v. So can I erase v? Is that OK? Because we're not worried about v anymore. So now, I need to add these two. So what do you do when you add vectors? It doesn't matter which order you add them, right? All you need to do is take one vector and add it to the other vector by transposing its initial point to the other, other angle's terminal point. So there's two different ways you guys could do this. You could do it like this. You could take this vector and transpose it over here. Or you could take this vector and transpose it down here. Either way. I'm going to try to do my best here. So I could either take here and move it over here, or I could take this vector and transfer it down, transfer it down here. All you do is you take one vector and put it at the end of the other vector. right? And what you guys notice is you get the same new terminal point, which is now our resultant vector. right? And this form is going to be u plus negative v. So let's figure out, now I don't know if I did this right, but let's double check. Does this look like at 2, negative 5? Over 2, down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. So we went there. We found it. Yeah, well, basically, guys. And then add it to the other one and just show the red line as well? Basically, you guys don't always have to. It's going to depend on the problem. I think for a problem, it's just saying graph it. So, but if you need to show it, you need to understand how to add the vectors. You just take one vector and add it to the end. Sketch the resultant vector. Right. So you, know, so you know 2 negative 5, so you can just draw the red line. You don't have to go through all of this trouble to go and graph it. Yes. So all 
If you're going to do negative e, yeah. Because you just, just distribute that in. So I have one last thing that I'm going to go over. Yes, no, maybe so, good.